Welcome back to the Digital Imaging Channel. I'm Will, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a nutshell overview of microfiche scanning. So what is microfiche? Microfiche are records that were photographed and put on these little index card-like sheets. The most common of microfiche styles is the jacket microfiche, which are actually cut up strips of microfilm that were then slipped into these channels or jackets on that card, and then you have a microfiche. Microfiche is a simple way to store information by basically taking normal records, photographing them and reducing their size, and then putting them on these sheets with that title strip telling you which specific records are on that microfiche sheet. And when it comes to microfiche, there are a few different types, and it is good to know which type you have in case you decide to move forward and digitize them. Whoever you work with or whoever you're at least researching is gonna ask you which type of microfiche you have because it will affect the project uh, pricing and then how it's actually completed. The most common types of microfiche are the 16 millimeter jacket microfiche. I mentioned jackets earlier, and these are just the most common. We see them all over the place in every kind of industry. They hold all types of records like student records, financials, personnel records, things of that sort, medical records, basically anything you can think of office size files will be on jacket microfiche. And these have five rows or channels and then 12 columns across, at least for the standard type. And they hold up to 60 images on each sheet. Next, you have the 35 millimeter jacket fiche. So it's also a jacket fiche, just a different size than the 16 millimeter. And these are gonna be two channels, so two rows across, and then three columns, so a total of six images per sheet. And these are typically going to be things like official records books or engineering drawings, planning drawings, things like that. Basically oversized records on that image. And then lastly, you have the COM microfiche style, which stands for computer output microfilm. And these have roughly around 270 to 300 images per sheet. The reason they're called computer output microfilm is because the records were already digitized, then put onto the physical microfiche. So they were generated from a digital version or digital data onto this physical record. There are some other types that do occasionally pop up. You have oversized microfiche. So instead of being the normal four by six inches, these can be maybe five by seven or five by eight inches. So they require a little different scanning. You have step and repeat microfiche. You have vesicular microfiche, which has kind of a blue tint to it. And then you have things like rigid microfiche that just can't be scanned on a normal scanner. So these do occasionally pop up, but they're not as common as the jacket microfiche and the com microfiche. Now, if you have a collection of microfiche records that maybe you're thinking about scanning or you just wanna know how many you have, you're gonna to need to quantify it. And it can seem tricky, but if you have a batch of fiche that maybe you have a couple dozen or maybe even a couple hundred, you can count out exactly how many you have and find out to the, to the exact number. Okay, I have 157 fish, because it's not gonna take that long to count that many. But if you have a larger collection, let's say thousands, tens, or hundreds of thousands, you're not gonna wanna count each individual fish. That'd be way too difficult. So there is a simple kind of trick to figure out how many you have. We call it the pinch and inch method. And basically what you're gonna do is wherever your fish are stored, let's say they're in cabinets, you're gonna go up, open a cabinet and just leave them as they're stacked, lay a ruler out and figure out what's an inch of microfiche. Take that particular inch out, just pull it out and then count those individual fish. So let's say it's about 100 fish per inch. Then what you're gonna do is measure how many total inches or let's say feet you have for your entire collection. And let's say it comes down to about 200 inches worth of fish. So you have multiple drawers, multiple cabinets, 200 inches of fish. You take that pinch and inch number, 100 fish that we figure it's 100 fish right now, multiply it by how many total inches, 200 inches, and then you have your kind of ballpark estimate. So 100 times 200 is 20,000 gonna have roughly 20,000 fish. It's not gonna be perfect, but it is gonna get you pretty darn close to what your total collection is gonna be. As long as the fish are all stacked similarly, the drawers are full, you know, however many inches you actually measured are accurate, you're gonna be pretty close. When you decide to move forward with scanning your microfiche, the cost will absolutely vary depending on your specific project. There are factors. Actually, we have an entire uh, blog article, we have an entire video on microfiche scanning costs three videos actually. Those factors can be quantity, indexing, the output, timeline, subcontractors, a lot of things that go into the pricing of your microfiche scanning. But for jacket fish, that 16 millimeter and 35 millimeter jacket microfiche style, you're gonna be roughly between 75 cents and $1.25, depending on those factors. The more you have, 
typically that price will be on the lower end. The more complex the project is, so indexing is really difficult, you have weird fish where it's flipped upside down and things like that, then your price will go towards the higher end, maybe even above that. Really depends on your specifics, but you can figure you're looking around 75 cents to $1.25 per sheet, not per image, per sheet for your scanning project. For com microfiche, you're looking at around three to five dollars per sheet. Again, these microfiche, these com fiche, have 270, 300 images per sheet. Compared to a 16 millimeter jack fiche, that's about 5X the number of images. So, so that's a lot more images to scan, it's a lot more information to process, and that's why that price is higher because it just takes a lot longer, there's a lot more data when you're scanning com microfiche. Now the other types we mentioned, so like the vesicular or the step and repeat or the oversize. So if you do have those types of fiche, we'll need to take a look at your specific project and see what we can come up with for a, an estimate. So the actual microfiche scanning process of taking your fiche from analog to digital and getting those electronic images will vary depending on who you work with. But if you're working with us, we actually have an entire article and some videos on our specific scanning process. We're just gonna hit the highlights here. I'm not gonna go through every piece, but the highlights are first step is the milestone one proof of concept process. So we get your records, we have a scope of work. We actually create your entire process flow using our build, test, refine methodology. So we test a small batch of your project, run it through that process flow. And then once we get to the end, we make sure everything's working well you get to review it and approve it. And once you approve, we move forward with the remainder of the project. If you don't approve it or you wanna change some things, we do that during the M1 process. So we work on that small batch before moving forward with the bulk of the project. We wanna make sure that you're getting what you want and we don't find anything weird or something that none of us knew about, you or us knew about before we get going on the large part of the project. Once that milestone's approved, then we're gonna get into the the, the main part of the project is scanning the bulk of your records and the first step of scanning fiche is actually the pre-scan. So we're gonna do a different light setting and scan that title strip on the fiche so that we can use that for indexing later. Once the pre-scan's done on that single sheet of fiche as it's going through the scanner, then you get the normal scan, which will capture the actual images on that fee sheet and push them into the post-processing phase is where we do things such as quality assurance checks. We may be applying OCR, we may be rotating images or manipulating them based on the scope of work, depending on what we agreed to beforehand. Once all that's done, of course, we're gonna be doing indexing so you can find your files later when they are in digital. And then there's the delivery, which is you getting your digital records after they've been scanned. Once the scanning project is complete, you of course wanna be able to access your microfiche records, the digitized versions of them, and there are a couple different Different methods to do that. The first is what we call the traditional method, and that's what you're probably thinking of when you hear about scanning or digitizing microfiche. You're getting PDF files, TIFFs, JPEGs, things of that sort where you're gonna have a file. Let's say you have jacket fiche and there's 60 images on each sheet. You'll get a multi-page PDF file per sheet, and that file will have those 60 images from that physical sheet named by whatever was on that title strip. That's what we consider the traditional method. That's what most people think about when they get their records digitized. Using those records, you may also be putting them onto an application or system that you already have. You may have a document management system that you want to get those files back, import it into your system and use them there. Or you may just want something like a USB drive where you keep it in storage, you keep it as a backup, maybe load it to your local network. So you have those records when you need them, but you don't have a document management system. That's also a possibility. Now compared to the traditional method, we have our digital real application, which is something a lot of our clients do like to utilize. So instead of necessarily just getting PDFs or USB or TIFFs and things of that sort, your images and data will be loaded and imported into our digital real web-based hosting application where you can then access those files through our web portal. And the difference between the traditional and the digital real method is we are virtually replicating those microfiche in our application. So imagine you're holding up a physical microfiche sheet. That's what it's gonna look like in digital real. So you can see the original historical context, but then also of course, access those individual images. You can use grayscale image enhancement to manipulate the images to make them optimal for what you need. And then you have global text search if you've applied OCR. So you can not only find records by what that title strip says, but what by what's actually also on each individual images. Great for large collections where you don't need to know where something is, you should know what you're looking for and you can find it quickly. And Digital Reel can be used as a primary access system. A lot of our clients like to use it as their primary method of getting to their records, but it can also be used as an augmentation. 
So if you have that digital application, that uh, document management system that you're gonna load these into using the traditional method, you may also have digital reel as kind of a secondary system. So if you get your PDFs, or your TIFFs, and you're in your application, you think, ah, these records, they don't look that great. That's just how they were. I'm gonna go into digital reel and manipulate the image using the grayscale image enhancement. Once I've done that and get an optimal image, then I can export from digital reel and load it to my system. That's something a lot of folks like to use just in case they come up upon those not that great kind of poor quality images that were just part of the original fiche. And then of course, you can use digital reel as a backup disaster recovery system. So even if you don't plan on accessing that much, even as a, an augmentation, it's nice to know you have that backup set in case something happens to your records. That's the microfiche scanning overview. You should have a pretty solid idea of various aspects of microfiche scanning, cost, different types, the process, how you can receive them. We hope you got enough information to move forward with your project. Of course, we invite you to subscribe to this channel so you can keep getting videos like this about digitization. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.